My grandmother and my great-grandmother were both phenomenal bakers. Growing up with them, being in the kitchen with them and cooking with them, I really think that that was the start of my love for sweet things. I'm Ty Whitaker, I'm a pastry chef and I'm the owner of Buttermilk Boutique. I don't know why my eyebrows keep doing that thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> Her house always smelled like butter and sugar. It didn't matter. She could be making spaghetti and it always smelled like butter and sugar. Like there were always uh, pecans on deck, um, there was always butter on deck, and there was always a cake uh, on the counter. When I first learned how to bake, I, I relied a lot on books because I, you know, I didn't have that confidence and she just was so effortless, you know. She would add a little bit of vanilla and she'd taste it and she'd need a little bit more and she'd taste the raw dough and it was like, I couldn't wait to get to that point where I could think like that. You know, and, and maybe it doesn't come out perfect, but just to have that confidence to add a little bit more, take something away, use real peaches instead of canned peaches, you know, things like that. Oh yeah. We've got all of our ingredients for our Italian meringue uh, buttercream. We're gonna start with the water, half a cup, goes into the pot first, and then we're gonna add our nine ounces of sugar into the pot as well. Boston University Gastronomy Program 2010 is where that culinary journey began. The second year is when Buttermilk Boutique came into um, formation. I had taken a business entrepreneurship class and part of my final project was to come up with a business plan and so I thought that was the perfect opportunity to start thinking about um, Buttermilk Boutique. Then we cut off our mixer and we scrape down the bowl just to make sure there's no butter kind of remnants on the side or anything like that. When I'm in the final stages of um, completing a big wedding cake or a birthday cake or any kind of pastry, but really, really for those um, cakes and things that take that fine detail, it's like winning the lottery. Clients come to me all the time with grandiose ideas and I say yes and a part of me, a part of me in the back of my mind is like, oh, can you really? And then when you do, it's like, yes, <laughs> I can. And it feels like you can do anything. So if you could imagine that each time you complete a cake, that's how it feels. Like, I can do anything.